Part 3. Plenty of work, but no jobs. Authorities turn promises of social guarantees to voters into a problem for entrepreneurs. Product creation or service provision prices rise several times. It's necessary to consider the side expenses made to register the company, certify the activity, conduct accounting, pay value-added tax, profit tax, social tax, vacation allowance, sick leave, leave salary, and the reserve funds to cover legal dispute solution costs. For example, if two entrepreneurs register two companies in Lithuania and hire each other to carry out work, they will invest three times more than they will gain. Suppose your labor productivity is twice as high as that of your client, but if you name a tripled price, the business will fail. As it turns out, there are plenty of tasks, but there are no jobs. We call those who are obliged to work more than necessary different names, slaves, serfs, taxpayers. Having refused extortion, you'll have to pay for all services yourself. The positive side is that the actual price of all services and merchandise is many times lower than we pay. The price of state services is no exception. The state order executors also bear a heavy burden of obligation which is not related to the required commodities production. The difference is at least twofold, that is, the total tax burden on physical entities and the price of related obligations execution. These are direct losses from the execution of procedures and deductions imposed. Moreover, losses from disincentives may become much higher. Employing the staff for double wages, the entrepreneur brings their bankruptcy closer. If it seems fair to you, try to think of an honest business bringing a threefold profit. An entrepreneur would rather work three times as much than risk hiring an assistant with a kid. If the business fails someday, the hired worker will receive a payment for doing nothing for half a year. However, a former entrepreneur will look for a job themselves, paying the debt connected with the compensation and tax payments in favor of someone else's family. If prices can be exponentially lower, the pensions can be lower as well. The government social fund is a tax like all others. To dwell in a pleasant environment, one must consider the appearance of both the infrastructure and the neighbors around. One has to pay for a decent appearance and good behavior of those who got into trouble. The relief fund should not be monopolist. Funds attracting donations must compete, making the best effort to satisfy the dependents' needs and necessities. Nowadays, both homeless and retired people become bloggers, and they will personally tell you to what extent funds and shelters are efficient.